Hey guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, we have some bad news this time. Uh, we contacted several shops uh, trying to get someone who could line board these for us. Um, unfortunately, it seems like no one has the capability or is willing to do the work. Yeah, and without getting the heads line board, there's no way we can proceed with the build. So um, at this point, the build is over. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later. Mm, no, we won't see them later. The, the build is done. It's done. DIY. Build it yourself. What's the saying? If you can't buy it, build it? Alright, so there is a kid out there that does this line boring for mod motors. It's fairly expensive and it's not readily available, so it won't be here for a few months. So we decided not to go that route. Um, instead, what we're doing is a traditional line boring tool. So the concept behind line boring is making sure all your caps or all, all your holes are within the same line and then, of course, to the right diameter. So the way, the way you do that is you set two reference points, usually the farthest most distances, as your uh, datums, and then you're gonna have a rod that goes between those two points. So for us, we have this cap and this cap. We're gonna machine some bushings um, that will fit tightly into the cap, and then will also fit on the rod tightly. And then on this rod, we'll have a tool bit installed that will actually cut these other caps. We'll move through and cut the other caps. This will guarantee that all these caps are within the same line and then we'll get the diameter to the right spec so that way the cam doesn't bind like it is doing right now. So the first step to this is going to be machining these bushings um, to the right size. So we're going to be working on Diego's new tool. He just recently purchased a very fine smithy lathe for a very good price. So we're gonna be putting that thing to the test. All right, we're here at Diego's house. He's on vacation, but the work must go on. So what we're gonna be working on are these spacers that are gonna adapt uh, between the cam cap bore and the precision ground rod that will be used for uh, the boring tool. Um, so what we're gonna start with is uh, center drilling and then drilling up to the largest size we can and then finish boring to the three quarter inch spec. So we'll get to that now. Now that we got the ID to spec, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the OD and get those to fit into the cam bores. All right, we're over here at Diego's house. Diego's working on the second uh, bushing. Uh, while he was doing that, I was working on the boring bar. So what we have here is a three quarter inch ground, precision ground rod. Um, and then these are the tool bits. They are high speed steel, uh, 40 millimeter. I cut a section off. So this little guy is actually gonna be the cutting bit for the tool, the boring tool. Um, and then we have three holes here. 
uh, one through hole that goes all the way through the bar. Um, the other side here we have a set screw so the tool, the cutting tool fits in here. Um, that allows us to change the depth of cut and then this one allows us to clamp on this tool bit. Then this rod will be sitting in the two bushings we're making and then we'll have a drive uh, probably with a, a drill and we'll spin this up and then this will cut the bore to the spec and we can measure this and adjust it to what we need to. So um, we'll get the bushings made up and then put the whole thing together and take a look at it. Get all this? <laughs> all right, so I just finished the second sleeve. Um, the one we made yesterday, like I said, is slightly undersized, but we noticed that when we were test fitting it on the heads, some of these were actually smaller than the others. So the small one that we cut fit perfectly on, on this head, this cap here. So this one that I just cut today is slightly over and it should hopefully fit on all these three and then we should be ready to start boring. So we're gonna first test, test it out. That's it? That is it right there, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that's one come out. Yeah, that's good. Put them both in so I could see them. That's what she said. Ha! I don't get it. It's like, it's like it's, it's perfectly. Is it taper side? Yeah, right there. Look, it's almost the same pressure on both sides. It's like, now we have to grind the cutting bit to shape and they start boring. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> All right, so we're having a little bit of a competition here. We're almost done with making the tools for the boring. Uh, the last part is actually cutting the, the tools. So we bought this, uh, what is this, four millimeter? Yeah. Yeah, four millimeter uh, high-speed steel uh, Tool stock, bit. and we're grinding it to shape to make sure it cuts, and uh, we're seeing who cuts the better shape? I do. No, I, I won the first round already. This is the second uh, round. Hold on. So I refined. This is version two, yeah. so let's Take show it's how it's done. But, Hey guys, we're taking a break from some of the work and we're off to see some top fuel drag racing at a local uh, drag strip. This is a rare occasion for us in Michigan, so um, we're going to take advantage of it and it'll be his first time. First time, so I'm ready. <laughs> Got the earmuffs. Hopefully we get his reaction when, uh, when the nitro cars go down. So.
However, yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, the cars were extremely loud. The ground shakes every time they go down the strip. So uh, that was a really cool experience. I recommend it to anyone that hasn't seen any kind of uh, drag racing at that level. Uh, but it is a new day and uh, we did finish making all the parts for the boring tool. So we're gonna take you guys through all the, all the cutting bits and the setup. All right, so we got the head bolted up to the lathe. Uh, it's mounted to the cross slide here. We'll be using the lathe to feed the axis uh, in this direction. Diego will be over here powering the, the uh, rod with a drill. So this will be spinning. It's mounted into the head. These, all these cam caps have been torqued to spec. These are, like I said, tapered, so they slide into the cam caps. Um, then the, this will be spinning and the cutting bit will be fed through the head via the, the uh, lathe speed. Um, and then we'll be cutting all of these caps in one pass. So right now the bit is set to the minimum depth of cut and we'll take our first cut and then go from there. So we just finished cutting all the bores on the inside of one side, on the intake side, and this is the first time we're going to test fit the camshaft. Uh, this is the moment of so truth. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so we notched all these for the cam bearings. So we got all the cam bearings in here and in the caps, um, except for the end ones. We haven't done those yet, but that shouldn't be a problem. So we're gonna drop in the cam this is just a test cam, by the way. Yeah, this is the V10. this is the V10 two valve cam, um, but it fits. So so we're going ahead and put the covers on, and uh, are we torquing them down? To spec probably not or? to spec. We'll just tighten them. Like I said, there's no oil. I don't think. This is just to feel how much resistance we get from the, the basically the bearings and the alignment from the, uh, the boring. Oh, you can move it? Spin. This is why you always save bolts. You never know when you're going to need it. What was that? So it's recording, I don't know, but I recorded it. It's going right there, it's about 10, 20 10, maybe? Yeah, 10 inch pounds. So that's really so. good. So one last step after line boring the heads uh, is actually cutting these grooves on the cam bores. The bearings have tangs on them to uh, retain their position once installed. So we took uh, small files and we grooved uh, the tang uh, features on the heads and all the bores. Uh, we did it on the head and also on the uh, cap sides. So you can see they all have them there. Yeah, we had a small issue with the cam bearings. Um, for some reason, the holes don't line up on some of the parts. So we're gonna have to reach out to King bearings and see if they recommend we Drill out the bearing or no, we shouldn't have to drill them. They show a picture and you can see the hole is different between this bearing and this bearing. 
but on this kit they they look <coughs> identical. I'm talking about this, so right, these you can see have a hole that's offset from the center. On the intake side, the hole is in the middle. So there's one set of bearings that goes here, one set of bearings that go on the intake side, that way your holes line up. But we received <coughs> All our bearings that we receive have the whole offset to match the exhaust side, even the ones that go here. So we don't have ones that line up with the intake side. But yeah, you can see the holes don't line up. We've just put these bearings here for fitting, but you can see that that's not right. The holes should be lining up. All right, so now that we know the setup works and it's cutting everything to the size we're expecting it to cut, the bearings fit, the camshaft spins, now we're going to go ahead and cut the other three camshaft uh, bores. We have this side on this head, and then we have the other head that we have to do both sides. So, um, yep, let's get to it. All right, so one last detail we didn't catch on video um, is how to line bore the outside caps so to do this is actually the inverse of what we've already been doing uh, so we've actually machined uh, slightly bigger bushings and these are designed to fit inside the machined bores right so all these bores have already been line board they're bigger than the stock size so this bushing fits right in there and the idea is that instead of now relying on the two outside caps to support the, the boring rod, we're actually using uh, the inside caps. So this, that's how tight they are. So this bushing is actually going to be inserted in this cap and there's going to be a second bushing that's going to go on this cap. And so now the rod will be supported again in the same way as before in between the two caps and we'll be powering it with, via the drill and the feed via the lathe again and that will uh, help us machine the outside caps uh, on both heads. One eternity later. All right, so we finished both heads. You can see here all the, all the bores are finished. Um, it went pretty well, everything worked out. We got, we got a lot better on the second head, so they're a lot smoother and it took us a lot less time. Um, we ended up returning the bearing kits that we got. We talked about how the oil holes didn't line up in some of the bearings. So we sent those back. We already put in an order for um, three new kits. Uh, so hopefully they'll get here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but in the meantime, the next step is going to be ordering all the valve trains, springs, seats, followers, whatever we need for the build. We got to spec out most of the stuff still. Uh, we'll have to start calling up shops for camshafts. We have to get those spec and because there are no uh, four valve camshafts, we're going to have to get custom course made. Um, so that'll be fun. And finally, we have to send these over to a machine shop, get them decked, cleaned up. So yeah, this is the perfect example. If you can't buy it, build it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.